If you have a drone or want a drone, you have until December 21st to, to register it. That is to say, if you obviously already own it, but if you get a new one, you have to register it from that point on. So you have to put in your name, a physical address, and an email address with the FAA. The agency has a registration process in place, and if people fail to register for $5, by the way, there are big penalties. Civil penalties may add up to more than $27,000. Criminal penalties could be as high as $250,000 and three years in prison. Fox News legal analyst Lise Wheel is with me now. So, Lise, great to see you. Good to be so, here. So, this is on a lot of people's holiday lists. Absolutely. Rounds, but those are some pretty serious penalties Absolutely. if people don't follow exactly. the Exactly. And it's you know, only $5 for the registration. The first thing is, do people know about this registration requirement? Do they know that they have to do this? This is brand new. There is very little, I, I should say, no case law on this, really. From, yeah, this from is the a whole new person, territory, right? A whole new right? territory for the law. But yes, you must register or you're looking at big prison time. So at least the knowledge of that is good. Now let's see if people actually go through it. It's not that big a deal. It's a $5, you know, $5 registration. It lasts for three years, but you got to do it. And the FAA, I know, receives right now about something like 100 reports per month of, uh, right. from pilots, from commercial pilots or registered pilots saying, hey, I, I see a drone. So scary, while these right. seem fun, they actually could cause a lot of Right. Stress. And what if a, if a drone hurts somebody, as happened before? What if a drone you know, blasts somebody in their yard or something like that? If you're a personal owner of that drone, you have general negligence liability. If you're doing it for an employer, say you're driving the drone for an employer, there's a call, thing called respondent superior, which means that the employer is liable for whatever you do. But there is liability there on both sides. So I heard you give the legal terms what if I'm out there fooling around I Just do yourself. something I'm not supposed to do right. and I cause injury so I heard you say personal liability personal liability are you generally negligent now the other thing that the case I did find I find had to do with um, aircraft you know model aircraft and a guy out in Ohio I think it was they were said, you know, said watch out this is coming down and he didn't watch out he just stood right there and the model aircraft hit him no liability in that case because he didn't do what he was supposed to do, which is watch out and run. But for people, I mean, this sounds kooky, but is this covered in your homeowner's insurance? I mean, how is this? Uh, again, this, new is, territory. this is a whole new territory. I mean, really, are you going to find in your homeowner's insurance? And we cover drones? I don't think so. Right. All right, and I know the Maybe rules are pretty specific from the FAA, something like at least five miles from an airport. Exactly. You're not supposed to go higher than 400 feet. Right. Uh, not during the White daylight. House, for example, we have the drones in the White yes. House. Remember that? No, no, no White House, no government buildings, nothing like that. In daylight. And in daylight. you have to be able to see your own drone. Right. Now, are people really living up to that, Deirdre? I am going to guess not. And I, I can even think, think so. just even on a who, you know, let's say the right. most careless, harmless, right. which would be teenagers fooling around with right. something. But remember, ignorance is not a defense in the law. So if you don't know that you've got to register this by December 21st and you don't do it and somebody gets hurt, Ignorance, you can't just say, oh, I didn't know. Because you've been watching this, pro this program, you would know then. So, Lisa, we've been talking about this in the fun kind of holiday way. Right. President Obama spoke earlier from the Pentagon, so I want to shift gears and focus on military. And he talked a lot about the airstrikes. Right. We are also, our military using drones quite a lot in, in Syria and Iraq. Is there a liability? I mean, military is separate, right? Military is separate. Immunity, pretty much a blanket immunity for government and military. So where you and I would get into trouble, where a company might get into trouble, the military, the police, you know, government agency, pretty much immune from liability, unless it's absolutely gross negligence somebody gets hurt. Okay, so we're talking about drones. We 